So uh, one of the things that I enjoy the most about going to the family cabin, uh, besides the solitude and ability to focus, is I, I love the nature, the animals that are up there. And a family of deer had uh, staked out the area behind the cabin next door. They were sleeping there. They would eat there. I would see them every single time that I came this summer. Sometimes I would go out on the back deck to read and they would just be walking around there. And uh, I got a little bit of footage of it that you're looking at now. There were two fawns, just very, very small baby deer and I got to watch them grow throughout the summer, uh, get bigger and bigger. Now, uh, granted, I didn't take video every single time I saw them, and maybe I should have because it would have made for a really neat sort of time lapse kind of thing, but I, I, I didn't think of that. So I'm always seeing these deer outside the window. Uh, I'm in the kitchen right now, and uh, there's one just right there, but I never have been able to get like the whole family on video before. So I'm going to pull back and yeah, I'm looking through the window. I wish that the window were open, but if you look, the whole family is right here. So there's one and there's two, three, four. There was a fifth. Where's the fifth? I don't know. You can see three right there in that frame. And the windows are col closed because it's cold. But I really thought it was neat that you could see so many of them. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Four. No, it's still four. Do you see the, the baby? Isn't that beautiful? Maybe I should shut up so you can just enjoy what I'm looking at. So here it is, just right outside the window. The fun of going out there on the back deck and sitting and reading and sometimes seeing the deer come by is that for some reason they didn't always seem to notice me. And so they would come close and uh, I could just observe them. And if you watch in these videos, you can see the, uh, whether it's a thought process, whether it's just some kind of animal instinct of, okay, what am I looking at? Obviously that is a human. Is he my enemy or is he harmless? So far he's done nothing, but should I run? And that, that was really cool. If you watch the deer watching me, that, that's how I perceive what's going through its head. And if I would make a loud noise or a sudden move, they would head for the hills. They would jump and run away. But as long as I stayed still, they usually were okay with me being around. And I think that that is really cool. This is a bad angle, isn't it? That this, so this is the view through the window and Sometimes you'll see them right there, just walk right by. And every time I've ran to get my camera as they're walking right there, I uh, they hear me because I've always had the windows open. Uh, in this case, uh, I didn't. And so I haven't scared them off. But I have to admit that when I first stepped up to the window, um, the floor creaked and the mother looked up and looked right at me. I think she knew uh, they have you know heightened senses for predators and we are predators and my brother said that deer are territorial and he thinks that they'll be back again next year you know once the weather gets cold of course they have to move on to where they can find food yet you know in the springtime they should head back there and, and that will be neat to see how much these fawn have grown. Maybe when I see them again, it'll be like seeing old friends. I don't know if you can see the, the fawn, it's just right there, but 
It's in between. Oh, there, there's two. Watch that. Holding it as steady as I can. Bid with confidence.